we don't really need to maybe i can i say have something that has been implemented somewhere or through some international project just bring the same things uh, bring the same uh, objective no but we have to, uh, to to bring our own concern what we are feeling what we are seeing on ground what we are seeing in our different country so like this we can discuss face to face we can discuss with the uh, the protagonist and then we can now see how to deal with but if we go again or like usually go just to follow to see what is happening what will be happening there i think we cannot survive we cannot reach our goal that is my uh, my thought about my name is dan kwesi semanu i'm from togo uh, and uh, i'm currently working in germany in Leipzig Center for Agricultural Landscape Research. This organization is an international center, research center in Germany here, where they have uh, different uh, clusters. Uh, we have uh, agricultural research cluster, climate change, remote sensing, and also uh, uh, agroeconomics also aspects. They are also doing all those things together and that different type of cluster that they have here. Uh, especially in my cluster, I'm based in the, the cluster the cluster called PB2, where they they are more focused on uh, governments, go, go, governance and on and landscape. Uh, especially when it comes to my department, it's about uh, more about uh, agroeconomy. Uh, everything related to forest and land landscape and land use uh, management. A long time ago, I started working on climate change, and also when I uh, uh, I go back in my country, like my roots, when I s and uh, analyze how climate change is affecting our population, our communities, it's um motivated me to to base my research on climate change, especially, for example, in my research, I'm more working on forests and natural resources, how climate change is affecting forest resources in uh, my country and generally in Africa. So those impacts, what I'm seeing so far in my community, motivated me to introduce or to put that side of climate change impact in my research. This uh, international conference that uh, have been held in Kenya was about uh, uh, the thinking to bring people together to think about how uh, Africa can face climate change impacts, climate change issue on different domain like uh, natural resources management, agriculture, agri agriculture area domain. And this meeting, big meeting, especially that time focused on agriculture and also agriculture and the land use, and also uh, recognize that uh, it's critical to, uh, to, to, to to orientate our intervention on more on uh, agriculture, agriculture and the land use uh, area. So that's what the main, the main objective of the uh, of that conference during the uh, during 2023. There is a big conference about uh, uh, the party, the meeting of parties, conference of party that uh, gather many different type of uh, international organization uh, intervening in, in climate change, natural resources, and also policymakers to gather the energy together to see how they can reduce or minimize the, um, uh, the international or the, uh, the global warming uh, of the uh, 
of the whole world. So that was the, the main objective of uh, COP, uh, Conference of Party. The African Climate Summit, the outcome, the, the main uh, outcome was uh, uh, to, to see how to upscaling climate smart agricultural practices. I think is a key, is a really key uh, for uh, my country's Togo, especially, and also uh, for the whole uh, countries in Africa, because agricultural sector is a big sector according to today that uh, African population, everybody needs to, to be free, to be well fed. Without food, I think we cannot survive as yes, a, a uh, under developing countries, we need first that our agriculture must be well, and then from then we can move on another thing. So that's as the we used to say, a stomach without food cannot really uh, talk or cannot really have a force to do something else. So we need a lot of food. That was the the main key or main key of that uh, summit. In, in Kenya and also African leaders that time uh, underscored the importance of integrating agriculture into national uh, climate strategy. That is also really a good thing that we need to incorporate in our nat uh, national strategies, how to incorporate it to help our local development from each country to each country. Uh, about the um, the, the COP twenty eight, uh, the main the main um, outcome, especially for the Africa countries, was to sustain uh, to, to the emphasize that time they emphasized a lot on um, climate resilient agriculture. Also, uh, I think agriculture domain was the the, the main point, and also the conference underscored. The, the outcome, they underscored the importance of the achievement, the agriculture in achieving climate goals, but um, significant gaps, gaps remain in secured the necessary financing and implementing climate, climate smart agriculture. That was the main issue that they brought out at the end, how to finance very well those, pro those projects in order to, to reduce hunger, in order to help population, farmers, stakeholders, farmers in African countries. All of them are good initiatives, but how to really connect all of them together? How our leaders in Africa, not only leaders, but researchers as well, and also the, the stakeholders, every uh, uh, component, every person that's Will be involved in this uh, this these initiatives are really key, really important for for us because we cannot say say poli uh, policymakers gather themselves somewhere to make some decision, have their own decision without involving the small holders in the, uh, in Africa in in the the decision or during the decision making so it's really important if we want to develop we want to put everything together to move forward i think uh, for me it's really important to put those um actors in the same ports not only like um, separately policymakers aside researchers aside and the population that are really more concerned about the the efforts for for that one i think we have to to integrate all the consider for example the landscape if you consider the landscape like a one system it should be better to start from natural resources protection and then because they are playing a lot of good big roles in to maintain for for maintaining the, the ecosystem first and the second one is also our practices how to integrate our uh, local uh, uh, practices with the model practices 
that is also another uh, another option. The third one is to have our own strategies. Strategies that are really for Africa, not strategy brought from somewhere else, but we need our own strategies on how to, to fight climate change. That's, I think from those, using those approaches, we can start uh, step by step coming, uh, overcome the climate climate change issue in Africa. The, the most important things I can highlight there is the the promotion of climate uh, climate smart agriculture. Now the technologies are are changing fast fast. How to incorporate those technology in our uh, production systems in Africa? So that one is really important for us. We cannot stay aside of the the, the technology, the evolution of technology. So so that means is a really important to to see how we can now incorporate to use those new technology in Africa in our local system production system uh, how to train the stakeholders smallholders farmers in our rural areas and help them use the new uh, strategies the new uh, technologies and then it can be really helpful so i think that this one is the for me is a really key to help our uh, population in Africa in agriculture. We need a very practical, practical, practical projects and impactful projects if we want really to deal with those uh, uh, issue. But what I noticed that is what what I noticed since so far is that sometimes the projects doesn't or don't fit really. The, the the reality on ground so sometimes it's also political issue sometimes is many issues that come with uh, the implementation implementation of the projects even though the projects itself or the the project are not something bad to to deal with but how to implement how to uh, be straightforward targeting the the, the issue that's the main thing that I think we can we have to do it and then step by step we can reach the the goal. What I want or what I can what I think is that we as African have to or have to bring a, a clear objective and things that are happening in our different country. We don't really need to maybe I can I say have something that has been implemented somewhere or through some international project just bring the same things uh, bring the same uh, objective no but we have to, uh, to to bring our own concern what we are feeling what we are seeing on the ground what we are seeing in our different country. So like this, we can discuss face to face. We can discuss with the uh, the protagonist, and then we can now see how to deal with. It. But if we go again, or like usually go just to follow to see what is happening, what will be happening there, I think we cannot survive. We cannot reach our goal. That is my uh, my thought about. Uh, for African citizens, I think there are different organizations uh, in Africa that are trying to to sort, to come out with this issue, which is the climate change. And they are doing a lot. They are doing good and they are doing a lot on ground. So for that one, I think the issue that we have is the a good collaboration with the political aspect and uh, organization, local organization, and also researchers. The problem that we have, and I want to uh, say, to talk about, is how can we conciliate political aspect 
and researchers and also uh, local organizations. So uh, my message to the policymakers, policymakers is the needs if they want or uh, the the yeah if they want to implement any kind of projects they have really to implement those who are in the field those who are in really in the domain so that together they can come out with a good ideas for implementation without that one if the political aspect or the policymakers only sit somewhere and bring out a project bring out uh, bring out a strategies how to implement something I think that way, that way it will not work. But together, we'll be strong for fighting climate change.